Hi, I'm Dusty Sievertson from Deep Herd in WA. One of the major pests we have to deal with in canola crops from early spring onwards is the diamondback moth. Um, and one of the best ways to work out whether we need to spray for it to prevent yield loss is to try and work out how many populations we have in the crop. And the best way we do that is to sweep net. So let's go and have a look. So how do we sweep net an advanced canola crop? Well, firstly, you want a tight grip on your sweep net. You want to do 180 degree sweeps without letting the sweep net turn and fall as the grubs fall into the net. We take a firm grip of this and we dump it into a container and have a look. So here we have some diamondback moth caterpillars here. You can see they wriggle rapidly. That's one of the telltale. So we have a look and see how many we've got in 10 sweeps. So already I can count five. And that's quite low numbers. During early to mid flowering and pot formation, if DBM average 50 or more per 10 sweeps and don't decline within 12 days, spraying should be considered. At late flowering and with most pods formed, average larvae numbers need to exceed 100 per 10 sweeps to warrant spraying. So in terms of managing diamondback moth, we have big issues with resistance to a lot of groups of chemicals, but we do have some that work. And where they do work, we also have issues with canopy penetration. So generally we, we recommend where you want to um, manage them very effectively is a two spray strategy, seven days apart, um, and really get, get your volumes up to um, penetrate that canopy. One of the tools we're using to increase our understanding of diamondback moth, whether they're here, whether they're laying eggs in this crop, is pheromone moth trapping. So the moths are attracted to this trap, fall in the bucket, we can then count them. I can see there's more than 50 in here. So they're here and they're laying eggs. For more information, do refer to GRDC's fact sheet on insecticide resistance in diamondback moth. <laughs>